Welcome to meteorologist Jacob Woods for a latest look at what we can expect for the rest of the day. Yeah, good morning, Jen. We do have mostly dry conditions across central Alabama right here at this 5.30 a.m. hour on our Sunday. A very uh, light to moderate downpour, heavy at times, possibly pushing southeast along I-20, uh, I-22, I should say, here in northern Walker County. But zooming out just a little bit, we do have a cold front that is draped across the lower Ohio Valley, stretching back into northern Arkansas. This is sparking some clouds and some showers and storms that are going to continue to drift towards our direction throughout the rest of our Sunday. And just taking a look at how humid it is out there, that cold front is pulling a lot of this Gulf of Mexico Mexico moisture northward. And so as that cold front interacts with this moisture going into this afternoon, we'll see some widespread showers and storms more than 50% chance for central Alabama. Now, as that cold front begins to drift to the southeast later on tonight, it will bring in some drier air, lower humidity, and that will be a nice relief to some of this heat that we've been dealing with over the weekend. But that humidity will be already here back again on Tuesday morning, and it will be here for the rest of the week ahead. And that means that our heat index values are going to be getting very warm even after Monday when that drier air is blessing us really for just about 12 to 24 hours. So looking at the future cast for what we can expect throughout the rest of today, we'll see that increase in cloud cover coming in throughout the morning hours, early afternoon. But already here by 2 o'clock, our in-house model sparking a few of these uh, kind of pulsing afternoon thunderstorms. They're working with the heat of the day, a lot of that moisture coming in along that cold front. And we'll see the coverage pick up a little bit more as we go into the rest of this evening and lasting into the early overnight hours. But I do think after 9 and 10 o'clock, we'll begin to dry out, leaving us mostly cloudy with temperatures still there around 80 degrees. Right now, we're not far from 80. We're in the upper 70s here in Birmingham at 78, 74 in Clanton, 75 in Alabaster. It's also very muggy out there with dew points in the middle to upper 70s. That's why we have heat index values forecast to get close to 105 to 110 today. And that is prompting the National Weather Service to issue a heat advisory in effect until 7 o'clock this evening for those heat index values ranging between 105 and 110. We drop tomorrow behind that cold front with lower humidity, but as that humidity returns, already seeing a return to those higher heat index values going from Tuesday into Thursday. Speaking of the tropics this morning, that's been in the news recently. We now have a category two hurricane, hurricane barrel, and it will be a major hurricane by this afternoon. Forecast to hit the lesser Antilles as we go into our Monday. We get back at home. We're just expecting temperatures to be here in the upper half of the 90s for most of this week and those storm chances returning on the 4th of July and lasting